What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. I uh, just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and uh, hope you have a nice time with your family and loved ones and are thankful for everything you have in your life, man. Life's short. Enjoy each day as uh, it comes, especially the holidays, you know, with, uh, with all your family and loved ones and appreciate uh, what you have. Alrighty, with that being said, I got a good one for you today. I think you guys are going to like this one. I have another Versus. I've been getting a lot of uh, uh, positive feedback on my Versus videos I've been doing lately. And uh, today I think is a good one. Today I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. So today I'll be doing my Versus on the Bobcat Tracker versus the, this one here is the Work Tough Nomad Field Knife. So... This one's a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit more in favor. I'm thinking of the of the Work Tough Nomad Field Knife just because it's a little bigger. Uh, but as far as like, uh, I'll show you the blades right now. As far as thickness, they're about the same thickness. This one's a little bit thicker than this one. But this one is, uh, is uh, we'll start with, let's start with the sheaths. I like them both, you know. So this one here will do it, they'll start with the tracker. It, uh, the Bobcat Tracker has a nice, nice leather sheath. It's really nice. I mean, really good, really well done. Really well done for uh, for a sheath. Has a little spot here for, uh, you put, you know, uh, sharpening stone or matches or anything you want to put in there to keep safe, you know, while you're on your hike or out camping. And it has a button here to strap it in to keep it nice and tight in there. And then we'll go on to the, Work Tough Nomad Field Knife. This one here is a Kydex sheath. Awesome, awesome fit. No straps, but it's in there tight. Unlocks, locks in super tight. Beautiful, well done on this one. And uh, I like them both. I like them both. So it's gonna be interesting to see on both of these. So let's get into the blades real quick. I'm not gonna get into all the specs, the measurements. Um, I'll, I'll name the stills and things like that, but I did reviews on both of these individually. If you want to see how long they are and the handle length and all that stuff, you all want to get into all that. This is just going to be a versus on which one I think is better as far as uh, feels better as far as usage and how the handle, how the steel holds up and how the handles feel. So let's check out the blade on the, on the uh, Bobcat tracker here. So beautiful looking knife, beautiful knife. Pretty thick stock there. Pretty thick blade. Um, both came razor sharp. This one's razor sharp. So is the Work Tough uh, Field Knife. And uh, nice Mercada handles there. Feels good in the hand. Really good in the hand. Um, really like the look of it. This is D2 steel. D2 steel. So uh, well, well done. Well heat treated. Because I did do a video on this just uh, solo. And uh, loved it. Held up really well. This one's already been used quite a bit. And uh, great, great knife, good materials, everything held in tight last time. So we'll check it out again. All right, now let's go on to the uh, Work Tough. Work Tough Nomad Field Knife. It says right there. This one here is SK85 steel. Awesome heat treat. I love that, that finish that I call the splatter finish they have on it. Beautiful. Has the modified Tanto clip point. Has a fat belly for cutting. This one's G10 handles, thick stock as well. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful knife, love it. And uh, let's hold them both up now with uh, so you can see. So this one obviously is a little smaller, the Bobcat, uh, but not by much. Not by much, and pull back a little bit. You can see there, not by much. It's a little bit smaller, but I think it's a pretty good comparison in my opinion. This one's a good comparison. This one here is a $60 knife, and this one here is about a $200, $210 knife, maybe $220. So it's a little more pricier, but um, we'll see. We'll see how they both hold up. I mean, they're both good knives. And mind you, I don't know how, you know, uh, this one is a little beefier, a little thicker, has better steel. But this D2 still holds up pretty well. So it all depends on your budget and what you're looking for. Um, 
they're both good knives. I mean, as far as long term, you know, if you use these every day for four or five years, which one will hold up better? I'm not sure. I think this maybe the Work Tough SK35 still might be a, the champ on that. I'm not too sure yet though. I never tested it myself, so who knows? But this D2 still is no joke though. This D2 still holds up really well. Um, last time after what I've heard from people on reviews and when I've used it, it has no issues at all. Still came out sharp uh, when I was done done testing it. So, all right, let's uh, let's put these two blades to the test and. Uh, See which one I like more. See which one feels more ergonomic. I can tell you right now, both grips are pretty nice. Really, I can't I can't be biased on either one. Both of them feel really good in the hand. This one's a little bit thicker in the hand, just because it's made a little bit thicker there, the stock. But as far as the ergonomics of both, they both feel really good. They both feel really, really nice. So it does have mild jimping in the back here. Yeah, you, it, it seems to work. It holds my finger in there. This one, no jimping, but it does, you know, I don't think we need it too much on this. It does have that frontward choil for close work. You know, so, all right, let's get these uh, out and bang them against some wood. Okay, I think we'll start first with a little paper cutting test to show you the sharpness, okay? And then we'll go from there before we start banging on wood. So yeah, still fairly sharp, still fairly sharp. Okay, let's check out the, the Work Tough Nomad. Woo! This one might be a little bit sharper. Still holding a, oops, still holding a pretty good edge. Uh, about the same. Still sharp. Both of them are pretty sharp. After banging them against wood, they lost a little bit of sharpness, but they're still, still cutting paper fairly well. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's do some uh, bottle cutting. Start with the Nomad Field Knife first. And then we'll work our way to the, to the Bobcat Tracker. All right. Oh, real quick, I forgot to mention that earlier in the clip I messed up and said this was a modified Tonto clip point, which doesn't make sense. It's a modified Tonto point, Tanto point. Okay, so that's, uh, that's what it is. And this is uh, SK, SK85 still. I kept saying SK35, SK85. Alrighty. I didn't feel like remaking that whole clip, so I was like, I'll just correct myself in this part. Here it goes. Uh. There we go. Had to give it a little more gusto. First one, I just, I nicked the top of it. I don't think I hit it hard enough, but you can see this sucker is sharp. So, definitely is a sharp knife. Okay. Let's move on to the tracker. Yeah, the Nomad was still just as sharp, but I ended up hitting it up, hitting it too high up. So this one, and yep, still razor sharp as well. Both of these are sharp knives. Let's move on. Okay, this will be the last clip for the sharpness tests. I just want to show you guys how sharp these blades are. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. <laughs> All right, let's let's see the bobcat. Let's find a different spot here. One's cut in two. All right, both 
of hair cutting sharp. Okay, we're gonna uh, start first with uh, Bobcat Tracker and uh, cut through this uh, two by four here. See how it feels, see how the handle feels in my hand and see uh, how easy it gets through it. Let's start. Okay, well, I'm not gonna go through this little piece here because it keeps bouncing, take forever, but felt really good in the hand. The edge, come around, show you this. Edge is holding up just fine. No rolls or chips or nicks. Looks great. A little dirty from the scuff, but so far, holding up really good. Felt really good in the grip, no hot spots. Felt really good, the handle felt really, really nice. All right, let's move on to the work tough uh, Nomad field knife. Okay, let's see how this one holds up. So I'll put this on there so I don't actually chop the, the cord. Okay, same thing. This one seems to be a little bit better at chopping, probably because of that fatter belly, but the, the Bobcat tracker wasn't that far behind this one. This one did do a little bit quicker and it felt a little bit easier. Again, handle feels great. Felt really good in the hand. No slippage, feels really comfortable, no hot spots. So yeah, both did really well. Uh, start with some wood processing or branch processing here for small kindling or even could simulate uh food prep right kindling busting let's see how it does again starting with uh i'm gonna start with the nomad field knife Easy peasy. Okay, let's check out the tracker, Bobcat tracker knife. Boom, in twain, son. As my boy Scab would say, in twain. Okay, back to the work tough. Boom. 
Both really, really good choppers. Can't go wrong with either of these bad boys when it comes to chopping. They're both doing an amazing job. So, all right, uh, let's move on. See how it does here. We'll start with uh, the Nomad Field Knife. Ooh, butter. Mind you, this is a old dried wood piece of wood here. So it's just falling off. But it's doing it. It's creating that those feather sticks. Not bad. And again, this is all falling off on the damn log. So, all right, let's move on to the trekker. See how this does. See, now this doesn't have any place to put your finger as far as getting up close, but I guess you can go back here and use this inner blade, which still works pretty good. Yeah, that works pretty good. Yep. Both well, are working just fine. Creating that. Well, that's for the one. That's for the tracker. This was the uh, work tough. Let's go a little higher here. Yeah, working pretty good for processing. Creating some uh, feather sticks there. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's uh, do a drop test, four foot up, and uh, see the balance of each blade. Okay, now the tracker, now let's see the work tough. Pretty balanced, pretty balanced. All right, let's do one hard downward throw. Okay, let's try the tracker one more time. Pretty good, pretty good. Both, I think the first time was me, I threw a little too, got a little sissy hand with it. Need to throw a little bit harder, put a little bit more gusto behind it. But yeah, uh, both, both seem good. Both have good balance. Let's check out those tips. Uh, uh. Definitely they're too thick to, I mean, this, these stills are both really good. Both too thick to have any, any uh, damaged tips and uh, heat treats too good. Both straight as an arrow. Bam, both still razor sharp, pointy, pointy, pointy as ever. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my review on the Work Tough knife and the um, Bobcat filled knife. Or, I'm sorry, the Work Tough filled knife, uh, Nomad filled knife, and then the Bobcat tracker knife. Um, both awesome okay we'll start with the i'm gonna show you guys i'll start with the the uh work tough i mean look at that after beating the hell out of it and everything look at that like almost can't even tell any scratches not even marks much less any damage i mean it's very very few little light 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 scratches i mean light you have to be looking like trying to really find them and that's just with wiping these down i just put them in soap dish soap and water to scrub them down real quick and wiped them off Man, you can't even tell how you use these damn things. Man, they're, you know, now let me check out the, check out the Bobcat, the Bobcat Tracker. Man, look at that. Oh, you can't even see damage. I mean, it's, that's, that, that's how uh, well these are made. I mean, both held up just beautifully, beautifully. Look at that. Again, just running over the sink, washing them off. Very just light little minor, minor scratches that you're gonna get from banging against wood. But I mean, just a few, just a quick wipe down. Back to showroom, back to putting them back in the hutch cabinet for show. Pull them off, use them. Use them, uh, abuse them and abuse them or show them off, man. These things are, these things are both badass. And I have to say, both awesome, awesome blades. I mean, either one of these, you can't go wrong with. Um, I'm really impressed with both. I mean, for the price, I can't go wrong with this. If you're on a budget, you're looking for a badass, hardcore, uh, 
super good quality D2 steel knife. Go for the tracker. And uh, this one, this one, this one will cost you about 60 bucks. If you're looking for a little more quality, something, another little, little unique out there. My, uh, my boy, uh, Zeke Minacho designed this one made by Work Tuck, Tough Knives. This one's a little more pricier. This one was going to cost you 200 bucks, but man, the workmanship on this, the finish, the, the quality of these things, man, the fit and finish of them. Um, man, you can't go wrong with either one. They're both freaking amazing. Like I, I don't, I don't even have, I don't even have a favorite. I have to just, just by design and by look, it might be a little bit biased because uh, uh, Zeke's such a good dude. I have to go with the work tough knife, and I do love it. I do even look if I don't, even if I never met Zeke, if I just saw this knife, I do like the look of it. Ergonomics, it feel good. But, but big but, this tracker, for the price and for the quality that you get from this, I mean it's it's no slouch, and it's I mean they're both in I mean. You, I didn't sharpen them. I didn't resharpen. I didn't touch them. Nothing. This is straight from after banging with them and hitting stuff and carving. Both still holding a freaking pretty much a razor edge. Both holding a razor edge. I mean, man, what can I say? Like I said, if, if you wanted to either one, I couldn't even this one. This versus is somewhat of a tie. You know, I'd have to say this is somewhat of a tie for me because for a budget buoy amazing amazing for i should say a buoy but a budget blade amazing for a good quality awesome manufacturer uh down to earth freaking company um super badass knife great material go with the work tough um like i said either one you can't you won't be disappointed either if you buy either one of these blades you will not be disappointed at all at all um man Man, this was a fun, fun Thanksgiving uh, review I did, man. I'm glad I did it, and these both held up absolutely amazing. Um, neither one, handles are feeling great. They're both on there tight as ever. They both feel super good in the hand. Um, both have the lanyard hole, both full tang, super thick, nice metal. I mean, really. Either one, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, um, I still have shirts for sale if you guys are interested. The link will be in the description below for uh, price and everything else. Um, and happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you all uh, enjoy your time off with your family and have good food. And until next knife.